First thing is I think I think I need to just hear you a little bit louder than that to start out. Right now. Let's turn the lights up. Let me get up here. I guess there we fucking go. Hello. So um, you know I just I feel very passionate about not faking shit and not having something written down that I want to say every night, so I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, what do I want to say to you guys? And I, there's a lot. And the first thing I want to just focus on is how fucking grateful I personally am to be up here with Mick Mars and Tommy Lee and Vince Neal. But more importantly, we're just grateful to be alive. I don't want to get too grateful, if you know what I mean. So, um, why don't we do some, let's all sit down together and let's just have a little talk. You guys can do it, I can sit down with you. Sit down for one second. Just turn the lights up a little more, I can make sure everybody's sitting down. There we go. Okay, so this is, this is what I want to tell you, and I think this is, this is really, really important. Is the fact that we're standing here right now, and the fact that you're sitting there right now, and that you guys got in your car and came here, and all the music that happened, and everything is happening at this exact moment happened because the story that I want to tell you. In 1980, I was in Los Angeles, I was in Hollywood, and I was in a band, and we were struggling, and it just wasn't really happening. And I knew there has to be three other heathens in this city, but the problem was in Los Angeles at the time, there were, um, all the bands had little haircuts and skinny ties, and they were called New Wave, and uh, it was the Knack and the Plimsos, and God bless their pansy molasses, but it really made me sick. I was just thinking, fuck, there has to be somebody else out there that believes in this cause. And I went Santa Monica Boulevard, a club called the Starwood, and I saw this drummer. And this motherfucker was so fucking skinny, but he was so fucking loud, and he was kicking the shit out of those drums. And I went backstage, and I, I thought, I gotta talk to that guy. And I walked backstage, I have to stand up here, because this feels cool right here. <laughs> and he was sitting there in some girl spandex fucking pants. And not only could he play drums, he looked cool as fuck, and he had two beers and two girls. So, I that's him right there. That's Tommy Lee, by the way. Okay, sit down, the story time's not over. <laughs> okay, so, then, me and Tommy get together, and I'm living at this girl's house, and I don't remember her name, and that became a theme for Motley Crue, right there. And we were playing Live Wire, and Merry Go Round, and Take You to the Top, and we fucking loved these songs, and we loved what we believed in, but we couldn't find a guitar player, and then we looked in a recycler magazine, and I swear to God, it popped out of the magazine and said, loud, rude, aggressive, motherfucker, call me only if you're serious. My name is Mick Mars. <laughs> and legend has it, he walked to the door just like that fucking making all that noise. So, now you've got these three guys, and we're playing this music, and, and we know that we're different. 
that's a theme for Motley Crue. We didn't want to be like anybody else. We didn't want to sound like anybody else. In fact, we didn't even want to sign a record deal. We wanted to form our own record company because we believed in us. And the only thing we was missing was a lead singer. And Tommy said he knew this lead singer, but he was in another band. We went back to the Starwood. We're standing there, the only three guys in the club, leaning against the wall, and this guy comes out in white leather pants. <laughs> white leather jacket, white hair, and I never heard a voice like that before, and I saw something else that we knew was the final ingredient. <laughs> Girls were taking their pussies out of their pants and were throwing so, we went to a rehearsal room in Burbank, California, and this is why we're standing here right now. I handed the words to Vince, to Livewire, and Mick ripped into that goddamn riff. Tommy started crushing the drums, I picked up the bass, and at that moment, motherfuckers, January 17th, 1981, this fucking machine, this monster, was born! And from the cradle to the fucking grave, Motley Crue is gonna live on. We love you. We are never going away. We are gonna haunt you till you fucking...